What a difference a day makes. Sun is back out looking really good out at Avila Beach. That wasn't the case all day long. We are actually watching the radar. There are a few clouds out there capable of producing some showers moving across the area. Here you can see them moving quickly here and diving into Santa Barbara County. I haven't seen a whole lot of ground reports yet. It is kind of thinning out with time here, but one last push of instability around the upper low here. But a ridge of high pressure is building in. That's why most of the area is starting to see improved in the cloud situation and we're going to see that continue here. This is a look at the Central Coast storm timeline. There is one little system. It's late Sunday night, really more like early Monday morning, three to five o'clock in the morning, a sprinkle chance in the area. Don't want to oversell it. Winds are not a big factor in the forecast. The weekend looks great. Tomorrow looks great. Monday is going to be good after that little shower opportunity in the morning. So let's just tackle tomorrow. Got temperatures near 70 degrees for much of the area. Even interior valleys are going to be a little warmer to start and a little warmer in the middle of the day. South coast temperatures mid 60s are better as well. Plenty of sunshine on tap and even the beaches will be into the 60s over the course of the afternoon. Advisories, we have a couple. So high surf advisory, 8 to 12 feet. I'd say max, maybe 15 footers here and there. This advisory is going to drop tomorrow morning at 8, so diminishing wave heights here. 4 to 7 feet for the south coast. Rip is a concern here through tomorrow morning. Additionally, we have some localized winds at higher elevations and the Gaviota Pass. 20 to 30 gusting to 45. Clearly, that is not the case through most of the area currently. Why are we seeing winds? We have low pressure here. We have high pressure here. Transitionally, Air goes from high pressure into low pressure. That's a northerly gradient right here along the south coast and through the Gaviota Pass. Other than that, again, we're going to watch these little fronts brush the area. Here's the one on the way for Saturday. It goes to the north. Here's one on the way for later Sunday night into early Monday morning. There you can see it's the midnight hour through four or five o'clock in the morning and the front looks to fall apart. There's a very similar front on the way for Tuesday that we have to watch. Let me just put this into motion here again. The Saturday front is a nothing. The Sunday into Monday one probably a nothing. This one later Tuesday probably also falls apart. So it's one of the reasons when you look at the bottom of your screen for that ticker, I'm not thinking rain is really anything we're going to have to deal with on the daily. And here's a thing too. The 8 to 14 day is looking very dry across the West and also quite warm. 70% chance for above normal daytime highs in the middle of March. So sometimes we get these miracle marches. We certainly don't need one this year, but you get the idea here. Models are not in favor of an active pattern. So mid 60s to about 70 for the central coast and south coast tomorrow. Beaches may be a little cooler, low to mid 60s. The interior valleys will be in the upper 60s to about 70 degrees. So again, we're predicting a lot of upper 60s. I would say we're going to see some scattered 70s. There's the extended forecast again, dipping a little Sunday into Monday with that frontal passage, but take a look at the middle to later portion of next week. Mid 70s are possible. We talk about that at KSPY.com.